Me, teacher. How was your day? Very fine. I'm tired. Oh, a lot of work. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, what time do you work, Salvador? Sorry? What time do you work? Um, the, the 7 a.m. Um, 5 p.m. 7 a.m. Yes. Okay. A long day, right? 7 to 5 is, is long. Uh, sí, a veces se alarga. <laughs> no wow. sé cómo decirlo. It's a long day. Sometimes it's longer. It's a long day. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Neftali, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, very well. Thank you. Good, good. And today, easy day. Eso no entendí, teacher. Easy. Easy day. Un día fácil. Ah, yes. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Julio. Julio, today, relax. No problem. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a uh, um, stressful. 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 Ah, uh, okay. A lot of work. A lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And Felipe, how was your day? It's very busy, long day, very heavy, heavy the work. A lot of activities. Good evening, teacher, good everybody. Hello, Alejandro, hello. Mm -hmm. And Felipe, what, are you driving, Felipe? Me? No, Felipe. Uh -huh. Va en un barco. In a Driving. Driving. Okay. Es que vi la luz roja. Yo dije, ya, ya, ya lo agarró la policía. Okay. <laughs> ya lo perdimos. Ajá. No, yo, yo, yo solo vi luz roja, yo no, yo no dije para dónde iba, yo solo dije luz roja. Ah, okay. sí, sería bueno que se conecte cuando llegue, peligroso, está oscuro. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. O, o, o sin, sin cámara, no hay problema, para que así no, no te vaya a distraer la luz del, del teléfono. Solo que escuche. Uh -huh. que listening. Ya. Yeah. No problem. Okay, okay. All right, guys. So, it's good. Today, we are going to continue from yesterday. Remember yesterday, we saw the vocabulary for the house, the furniture, okay? Do you remember what are the name of some furniture? Sofa. Sofa, good. Mm -hmm. Television. Excellent, okay. Uh, mirror. Okay. Macro microwave oven. M microwave oven. Uh huh. Microwave. A stove. 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 A stove. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yes. Teacher, a stove is with the F at the M or no. V. 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 Stove. 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 Mm -hmm. stove. Mm -hmm. Okay, stove. 
Somebody can help me, please. What else? Anything else? Bed. Bed, good. And do you remember the different rooms in the house or in the apartment? Do you remember the different rooms? Yes, sir. What are the different rooms? A living room. Living room, good. Kitchen. Kitchen. Bathroom. Uh huh. Mm. Bedroom. Bedroom. Okay, good. Excellent. Those are very good. Okay, we have a lot of different things and things that we mentioned. For example, a uh, that we were listening to. We also have lamps, desk, drawer, yeah. dresser, bookcase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of furniture. Bookcase. Today, we're going to yeah. learn how to describe the furniture to say singular and plural, okay? Today, we're going to use there is, we're going to use there are, okay? There are, we're going to use the word some, no, and any. Okay, so for this, we're going to watch a small video that is here where we can see this, there is, there are, and listen to the explanation how to use correctly. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements <clears throat> with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Okay. De acuerdo a lo que han visto, ¿qué entienden? Se usa there is y there are. ¿Qué es la diferencia? ¿Qué entiende que es la diferencia? Plural y singular. Singular y plural. Teacher. Excelente, singular y plural. Right. ¿Y cuándo vamos a usar there is? ¿Para singular o para plural? Para singular. Para singular, ok. Uh -huh. And there are? El plural, en el caso de tal vez plural. algunas sillas. Ok, perfect, very, very good. Ahora, también dentro del mismo, vemos que hay la palabra uh, any and some. Se fijan de que ahí vemos some, no, and any. ¿Qué creen que usamos o cuándo creen que usamos el any? Cuando no hay nada. Cuando no hay. Cuando no hay, exacto. Se utiliza en negativo. Any es para cuando ya la palabra antes o, es, o son negativos. Por ejemplo, aquí, there aren't. There aren't any. Ok. There aren't any. Y solo se puede usar con plurales. Por ejemplo, there aren't any chairs. No sería correcto. There isn't any table. Ok. Lo vamos a usar con plurales. There aren't any. Okay. Y podemos usar, si no vamos a usar el negativo, there aren't, ah, podemos poner así, por ejemplo, there are no oh. chairs, que igual significa que no hay. Y there are some, ¿qué significa some? Algunas, algunos. Unos. Algunas o algunos, exacto, very good. Y ahí es donde vemos, there is, ok, y podemos usar there is a or there is no. O podemos usar there isn't a y el complemento. Okay. Si vemos ahí algunos ejemplos. One moment. There we go. Table in the kitchen. Oh, ya me pasé mucho, pero ahí estaba. 
table in the kitchen. Okay. Podemos ver, there is a bed, there is a sofa, porque es singular, ¿verdad? Una cama, un sofá. There is. There isn't. There isn't es que no hay. Okay. There, que no hay y eso. There isn't a table. No es necesario dos veces, solo es una vez. O lo usamos el negativo aquí, isn't, o usamos el negativo con there is no. Pero solo una vez va a ir el negativo. Okay. okay. Only one. Hey, teacher. Sí. Can we use uh, the completed form when you say there are no any? No. There, there. are no any chair. No. Oh. The, there yes, are, contracted. No, no, no puede ser. There are no any chairs. Tiene que ser. There are no chairs. There oh. are no chairs. Mm -hmm. Es que el any tiene que ir con uh, el negativo, la contracción antes. Por ejemplo, there aren't. There Cuando aren't. usamos el any, obligadamente tiene que ir la contracción. Ajá. Uh -huh. No puede ir así de la forma completa, como yo digo. There are no any chairs. No, no puede ir así. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Solo puede ir. Tiene que ser. There aren't. No. Así there como aren't any. Exacto. Tiene que ir. Finally, de, we have ahí the como el último que está ahí ahorita. The there aren't any. No puede okay. ir. There yep. are no. Oh. Puede, o sea, puede ir. There are no. Y después ir chairs. Puede ir. There are some chairs. O puede ir. There aren't. Pero si usa aren't. Is any. Ok. Ok. Oh, está bien aclaración. Gracias. Uh -huh. Y la razón es porque esta contracción es not. Pero si usas la palabra eh, negativo, solo vas a poner no. No vas a usar la palabra not. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Entonces solo es así, okay. contracción. There aren't any. Any chairs. Ajá, exacto. Entonces, en la casa, cuando hablamos, ah, I have, que ayer vimos el have, yo tengo, o hay, ¿verdad? Tenemos, ahora estamos viendo hay. There are some. There are no. There aren't any. Y lo mismo usamos con there is. There is es singular. There is a table. ¿Ok? There is uh, no, uh, there isn't And there isn't a chair, por ejemplo. El isn't or is va a ser el singular. El are or aren't va a ser el plural. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Primero vamos a practicar la conversación. Antes de practicar la conversación, vamos a estar seguros que entendemos todas las palabras que hay ahí. Ok. ¿Hay algún? ¿Lo pueden ver aquí o lo pueden ver en su WhatsApp? Eh, ¿Hay alguna palabra que no entiende? Any vocabulary you don't understand? Um, 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 no, everything is clear, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Nadie tiene pregunta? Ok. Very good. So, mm. or, yes, Julio, you have a question? En, en el caso de cuando pregunta, and there, there's no sofa, eh, no entiendo muy bien. Ah, ok. And aquí es, a ver, and there's no sofa here in the living room. No está preguntando, solo eh, Chris está diciendo. Afirmando. Afirmando, ah. o sea, está haciendo la observación. Ey, de que no hay. No hay, no hay sofá aquí en la sala. En la sala. Uh -huh. <risa> El eso, compañero sí es, tiene, es, tiene uno en su living room. Ajá. Es decir, there es como aquí. Aquí, no, no. Por ejemplo, eh, y por ejemplo, aquí there. no hay. There's no hay. No hay. No hay. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Dice there's, ¿verdad, teacher? Porque está a distancia, está en otra locación. No, 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 no. There's es para aquí. Aquí, there's aquí. es hay. Ah. Hay o no hay. Uh -huh. No es para distancia, porque solo es hay. Por ejemplo, hay una tele en el bar. No estoy ahí, pero hay una tele. No es de distancia, es hay. There is. 
There is. There is a TV in the bar. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hola. Hola. Okay. Those. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to practice the speaking, the conversation two times, right? The, with the partners, we practice our speaking. Vamos a desenrollar la lengua, okay? Okay. Good. Let's try. Let's do it. Let's do it then. Roberto, ¿recibiste la invitación? Okay. We're back. Okay. We're back. We back. Mm. Any questions?
No, teacher, de, la verdad me gustó mucho la conversación. Clear. Bastante sencilla y bastante acertada, apegada a la realidad, ¿no? Ajá. Ya. Yeah, yeah, Incluso yeah. muy buena, porque ahorita que viene el, el Black Friday. <risa> la quiero comprar cosas. Ajá. Exacto. Hay que ver qué es lo que necesita en la casa. <risa> Aquí está Good, good, good. Ok. El, ahora, el siguiente ejercicio es decir la oración en otra forma. Ok. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos: I don't have a table in the bedroom. Aquí vemos: I don't have a table in the bedroom. Y otra forma de decir esta misma oración es: There is no table. In the bedroom. Okay. Hola. Entonces, con el compañero, ahora okay. vamos a tener cinco oraciones y tenemos que decidir en one en 2.9, este ejercicio 2.9, cómo decimos esta misma oración en otra forma. Ok. Ok. okay. Let's go three minutes. There is no. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Number one. Let the bat. I have some chairs in the kitchen. There, there are some. Are some. Some. There are some chairs, chairs in the kitchen. 
Okay, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Good, all right. Number two, I have a stove in the kitchen. There's, uh, there's uh, a stove. There's a stove. There's. Okay. Number one. Number one. Okay. There's a stove in the kitchen. The first one. Okay. Number three. I yeah. don't have a refrigerator. There's not. Refrigerator there's not. is option four. Option. Okay. All right. Number four. I don't have curtains on the windows. There are not. There are not. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. And number five. I don't have any rugs on the floor. There are not. Number two. Okay, there are no uh, rugs. No, floor. Floor. Yeah. No, let's see. Okay. Hey, very nice. Look, correct, correct, okay. correct, correct, and correct. Teacher, una consulta. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Porque normalmente nosotros estábamos acostumbrados, o por lo menos habíamos escuchado cuando uno pronuncia not. Eh, con no. Eh, ¿Hay alguna regla para esto en sí? O... There's, para no cuando... sé si me, si me explico. Ah, para el, el no y el not. No y not. Ok, so, there, el, normalmente el not es que se usa con el, there, cuando usamos las palabras contractadas de is y are, ok, cuando vamos a usar solo que no, entonces usa, no usamos not, solo usamos la palabra eh, no, entonces, si yo digo there aren't, ok, or there isn't, Ok, o en, en este caso ya, ya no tengo que usar el no, porque ya dijo there isn't, there aren't. Ya usamos el N-O-T contractado, que sería not. Ok, not. pero cuando usamos there's, there is, there are, esa parte positiva, la siguiente vamos a usar no. There's no, no voy a usar there's not. Uh -huh. Realmente, como Entonces, no aquí, por ejemplo, esa... aquí en esta parte de aquí, no voy a usar there's no. not refrigerator. Voy a usar there's no refrigerator. No. Uh -huh. Ok. Perfect, clear. Ok, good, good. All right, let's continue then. Excellent, excellent. So now we're going to practice reading. Scanning and reading, okay? Here we have a little bit about the reading. Ayer había un compañero que preguntó sobre esta lectura. Entonces, hoy vamos a ver de qué estaba hablando él y a qué se refería. Ya vamos a ver en un momento, okay? Here we have Sandra Cisner. Hi, everyone. Class will develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. 
Mm, okay. Let's Press. look here. First, any vocabulary? Pues, todo está claro, teacher. Solamente la que pregunté ayer, que ayer mismo se respondió, que es la wood burning stove. Ajá, wood burning stove. Wood burning de leña, ¿verdad? Una estufa de leña. Sí. Ok. <laughs> Como la que sabía que ven en camino al puerto. Yes, that's the wood burning Cocidas stove. En, en la estufa de leña. Exactly, exactly. That's a wood burning stove. Mm -hmm. Y de ahí por lo demás, creo que no familiar con las palabras. Ok. Ah, hay una, teacher, pero probablemente es el nombre de la, del asunto, que es la que mencioné, que la... Eh, es called Hogan's. Ah, Hogan's, muy bien. Si ven, la Hogan Hogan's. es el nombre de cómo se llama eh, la casa. Aquí podemos ver, eh, no se llaman hoteles, en este caso se llaman Hogan's. Sí. ¿Y qué son Hogan's? Hogan's ¿No? es lo que está ilustrado ahí abajo. Exacto, esas son las casas, aquí dice casas tradicionales de los nativos, de los americanos. Ahí, esa es la casa bueno, tradicional. Es como un iglú de, de, de barro, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Eh, similar a, a lo que construían aquí en El Salvador, eh, antes de, de lodo y, y paja. Y, uh -huh. De adobe y bajaré. Adobe. adobe, exacto. Similar al adobe. Gracias, mi amor. Gracias. Uh -huh. Estamos claros, teacher. Ok. Eso es algo autóctono de las, de las tribus americanas ahí. Sí, sí, sí. Y, y eh, mucha gente eh, no sabe que, porque creen que, ah, los iglús. Y cuando piensan en iglús, solo piensan en, eh, en, en la nieve, en el Ártico, algo así. Pero en muchas partes de los Estados Unidos también construían sus casas permanentes de esa forma. Ok. Sí, mi amor. Así que, okay. Now okay. we're going to now we're going to practice the reading, okay? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Ahora con el compañero voy a leer yo eh, Cisnero y mi compañero de Native Americans. Después él va a leer de Cisnero y yo voy a leer de Native Americans. Vamos a leer los dos la parte, okay? Para estar seguro que entendamos bien. Ahorita vamos a escuchar una vez más la pronunciación de estas palabras. Okay. Si hay alguna que no están claros, me avisan y lo puedo repetir y lo pauso y estamos seguros para que cuando ustedes practican lo hagan bien. Okay. 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 Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Okay. First, any questions, any pronunciation? Alguna palabra que no les quedó claro como se pronuncia? Tribus, teacher. Tribes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, ahora la segunda parte. Let's check. Every year, many people visit Arizona 
to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, let's Native see. Native American homes called Hogan. Anybody else? Any questions for here? Creo que estamos claros, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Then let's practice. Then, one moment. Hemos aprendido mucho. Lo que no podemos es pronunciar. <laughs> es, eso vamos a practicar ahorita. Soltar la lengua. Uh -huh. Se lo podríamos traducir si quieren, pero a la hora de leerlo, parecemos matraca. <laughs> let's practice. Let's try in this okay. moment the conversation. Good. Thank you. 
Okay. Ya que leyeron. Back. back, back, back. Excellent. Ya que leyeron y entendieron, vamos a ver cómo usamos estas palabras. Okay. Three chairs, many books, colorful paintings. Toda esta información es lo que aparece en estos dos artículos. Ustedes con sus compañeros van a poner lo que dice de Sandra Cisneros and Lorraine Nelson. Ok, Sandra Cisneros, aquí está la información. Lorraine Nelson, aquí está. ¿Qué tienen que hacer? Usar esta palabra que está aquí para poder completarla. Entonces, vamos a ver. Ayer vimos una, ok, que era wood burning stove. Acuérdense, lo tienen que escribir tal y cual está aquí, porque esta es como se escribe. Ok. So, ok. Let's try together. Let's try number one. Sandra Cisneros house. Estamos hablando de Sandra Cisneros. Excuse me. Yes. ¿Qué ejercicio es? This is. ¿Qué es ese que un número? Sorry. 2.12. 2.12. Thank you. You're welcome. 2.12. Okay. Okay. So, in Sandra Cisneros, there is. There is a. Okay. En este caso, con los compañeros, lo van a hacer juntos y después lo vamos a revisar para ver si todos lo escribieron y si les salió bien. No se preocupen si les sale mal. A veces es porque tienen eh, mucho espacio, se le olvidó un punto o algo. Así que no, se, no estén afligidos. Por eso lo vamos a revisar para ver cuál fue el error si es que les sale mal. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. okay. All right. So, let's go. Sorry, let's go with our partners. That way we can do it.
Okay, let's check the answers. Let's see how you did. Okay, Sandra Cisneros house. There is a porch with a pink floor. Pink floor. Okay, porch with a pink floor. Okay. With a pink oops, floor. Okay, good. Number two, there are many books. Okay. Color, colorful painting. Ah, okay. There are colorful, colorful paintings. No, is this is number two. Colorful, number two, colorful the second paintings. one. This, that's the answer. The yep. Color paint. Colorful painting. Color painting. Sorry. Okay. Colorful paintings. Number three is many books. Okay. Number three, many books. Good. Okay. What about number uh, Lorraine Nelson's book. house? Number one. There is? Wood, wood, wood burning, burning stove. Wood, wood burning stove. Okay. A wood burning stove. Okay. And number two, there are? Three chairs. Yeah. Ah, okay. There are three chairs. Mm. And number three, there are two beds in the floor. Okay. Two beds. Here we go. In the Excuse me. Yes. We can check. There are two beds in the floor. Okay. Hey, you can see porch with pink with a pink floor. Correct. Colorful paintings, correct. Many books, okay, good. Wood burning stove, three chairs, and two beds in the floor. And it's okay? Yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice speaking. We're going to ask our partners. So, for example, okay, we're going to say to our partners, mm -hmm, describe media. Okay. Okay. So, as an example, describe your bedroom. Okay. Mm. ¿Qué vamos a poner? ¿Qué sería la respuesta? Describe your bedroom. Ah, hay dos formas. Ok. Ayer vimos, in my bedroom, I have, por ejemplo, I have a TV. My bedroom has. Ok. Oh, in boy. my bedroom, I my have a TV. Bedroom has. My bedroom has a TV. ¿Verdad? Y hoy vimos... There is a TV in my bedroom, for example. Okay. Or there's a Remember, in the negative, we put there, okay? Okay, so now we're going to practice the speaking, the speaking, the speaking, the speaking, the speaking, okay? So, hey, I say, hey, Alejandro, describe your bedroom. Yeah. This is okay. the example. Alejandro, okay. describe your bedroom. Okay. Uh, my bedroom has a big bed. It has two, a computer. And, más o menos. Si tenemos two, no tenemos a. Ah. Ah. Okay. Just one, a ah. computer. Okay. It has, it has a computer. It has a computer. 
Okay. A closet. Mm -hmm. a, a little sofa. Okay. A, a desk. Do you know what I mean? A desk. Yes, correct. A, a, a chair. And a chair. Okay. Yes, sir. And that's it. Y así es. Vamos a practicar usando lo que hemos aprendido de esta unidad 2. Ok. ¿Qué es lo que hemos visto? Así en el chat. My bedroom has. In my bedroom I have. O lo que vimos hoy. There is a TV in my bedroom. There are. Si es varios. There are chairs. Ok. Chairs. There is a sofa. Ah, dependiendo cuál cuarto vamos a describir. El compañero no hace la pregunta y nosotros lo vamos a describir. ¿Es ok? Es ok. 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 ¿Hay alguna palabra, algún vocabulario que quieren saber cómo se dice algo de su cuarto, de su casa? I think everything. Ok. All right. Let me check. Neftalí, ¿cómo se dice ropero? Sí, sir. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice tocador? Ya, ya te va a contestar Nestalí. Él dijo que no tenía preguntas. Espérate, ya, ya te va a contestar. Oh. Ok, Dresser. Nestalí. Dresser. Dresser. Ay, ahí está. Ahí está. Dresser. Ah. Ya ve, cualquier pregunta, háganselo a Nestalí, ya sabe. Está como tigre. Ajá. Excelente. <risa> <laughs> Exacto. Hay closet, ropero, tocador, dresser. Excellent. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, espejo. Exactly. Okay. Let's, let's practice with our partners. Let's practice. Mm -hmm. Please share your work in our discussion. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a that's the article A, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't, plus some or any or no, plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left-hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object, so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there, then the verb to be is, is. Um, on the example is contracted as you can see, there's. We will use the article a, the complement is bad in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar 
with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence, we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article A because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example. There isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Okay, good. Any questions? Any any examples? Todo claro? Eh, en algunas casas de Estados Unidos hay un salón de juegos. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronunciaría? Game room. Game, Game room. room. A game room. Mhm. Mm okay. Teacher, y cuando hay una mesa de centro, no una mesa, en una sala, usted tiene una pequeña mesita ahí donde pone los los los, los licores y todo eso. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, sí. uh, no. Dining room table or coffee dining table. Ah, uh, coffee coffee table. Coffee table. The coffee, coffee table, table is para el café. Pero son como de las salas de mesa para el café, ¿verdad? Es la mesa de centro. Ajá, ah, la no. mesa de centro. Y yeah. es el ca uh, table. Coffee table. Coffee mm. table. Oh, coffee. Okay. Pero aquí table. sería como whiskey table, cerveza table. No, nope, only ah, coffee table. table. <laughs> <laughs> es golden table. Coffee table. Uh, por ahí. <laughs> <laughs> Chupi table, chupi table. <risa> bueno, como pueden ver, cabal como, cabal, como habíamos mencionado, estamos al día con la unidad 2. Mañana vamos a repasar, asegurar que todos han completado hasta la unidad 2 y iniciar la unidad 3. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. All, All right. right. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. 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 Bye. 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 Bye-bye.